Tilly and I'm back and today we're going to be talking about the life cycle of a frog. Boys and girls, make sure that you like and subscribe. Now, let's go discover what we can find inside. Let's talk about life cycles. All animals are born, grow up, get big, have children of their own, and after a while they die. This is called a life cycle. Animals are born small, and then they grow up, and their bodies change. Each animal changes in different ways. We are humans. We start off as babies, then kids, and then we go grow big, big, big into adults. So let's talk about frogs. Frogs are amphibians. They live in both water and on land. They don't have hair, scales or feathers. They are invertebrates, they have a backbone and they usually have four legs. So moving on to frog spawn. Here is my own frog spawn. Well, it's not quite frog spawn, but it is something that you can do at home. Here we have got some jelly and some raisins. The jelly acts like the gel around the eggs to protect them. They are laid in water and they lay up to 4,000 eggs. Whoa, well that would mean a lot of frogs, wouldn't it? But they lay so many eggs because some are destroyed by rain and wind. And once the frogs egg lay the eggs, they do leave. <gasps> Whoa, our own frog spawn. So frog spawn is the start of a frog's life cycle. After this, metamorphosis begins. Metamorphosis means they change from one thing to another. So these little things here will start to grow a tail and that's them changing into a tadpole. They spend their time swimming and eating. Ooh! So a tadpole is super tiny. And then the next stage of the life cycle is a froglet. Oh, how cute. The head starts to get bigger and bigger. And then the legs must start to form and then starts to grow arms. It still has a tail though, a froglet. And it breathes underwater. So now on to the final stage of the frog life cycle. A frog. They have super smooth skin and their feet are even webbed, so that helps them to swim. Their back legs are longer than their front ones. This helps with them jumping and swimming. And boys and girls, just like every other animal, they have a sound and they go croak. So now I'm going to tell you some super fun facts that you can tell all of the big people. So when we have lots and lots and lots of frogs, they are called an army. A group of frogs is called an army. Frogs drink water and breathe through their skin. Ooh. Frogs can see 360 degrees. That means they can see everything around them. So boys and girls, we can see about this much and frogs can see everything. Eyes and nose are on top of its head so most of its body can be underwater at all times. Frogs are a sign of a good ecosystem. The biggest enemy of a frog is pollution. Boys and girls, we don't like pollution at all. And that's why we need to reduce, reuse and recycle. <laughs> 